Yes. With your hand up, yeah. Well, I have one question. Um, do you think that disruption, positive disruption, can be systematized, uh, controlled, to prepare for disruption to occur? I'm talking about a lot of uh, applications or companies that have made a global massive disruption. Do you think that we can produce uh, intentionally one disruption? Can you define in the context of this question like what you mean by disruption? Okay, okay. it's a subit, it's a, a speed uh, and dramatic change of paradigm. It is understood, the paradigm, the way, the, the mindset, the global mindset, a fast change of the mindset. Can you, because some of the disruptions we have seen, they just occur, uh, this is the, the fast learner, uh, but can we produce one? That can we make an incubation, an acceleration of a disruption to be launched worldwide? I think, you know, one of the challenges of disruption is that because I believe we are going, we are undergoing today, certainly in the time period in which I've been an entrepreneur, the greatest period of disruption that we've seen. And I think it's only going to get more fragmented from here. And you know, the decisions that you have to make as an entrepreneur in terms of focus are only getting more and more challenging. And so one of the things that I think is so interesting about disruption is, or fast change, is that it seems like it's going, it, it, like the, you run off a cliff, and that you know exactly that it's happened, and that everything is, you know, is major and dramatic. And I'm coming to the, to the conclusion and the position that, that the biggest challenge of disruption is that it's incredibly quiet. And what I mean by that is you, you know, kind of coming back to all of the little bets that you're taking, all of your experiments. True disruption, and this is, I think, what, you know, makes it so challenging. True disruption is that you're doing all of this stuff and you're like, crickets. Like, there's nothing there. And then you're like looking around and you're sort of seeing, you know, other things kind of working, but you don't know sort of what set of variables went into that other thing working. And I think that that's what's so challenging about disruption is the fact that it, it's so quiet. It's actually the absence of activity as opposed to, as opposed to something that, you know, is, is the hockey stick. The hockey stick comes from somewhere. The other thing that I think so and, and, and most of the time it comes from people essentially quietly leaving, you know, one thing or just never showing up. The other thing that I think is, is so interesting about disruption is that um, I think it's really, really hard to reverse engineer success. I think it's really hard to prepare. It's really easy and I think increasingly easy to talk about the right things. Like we can talk about virality. We can talk about, you know, user acquisition. We can talk about network effects. We can talk about hire the best people. Like, yeah. But what that actually means day to day and what that means in terms of the decisions and that those, those walks, those moments where you're like, I don't actually know the answer to this. And not only do I not know the answer, I'm not even sure what the next experiment should be. I think that those are the moments that if you as an entrepreneur can kind of keep your cool and be okay with, with exp like focusing in on the experiment and learning as opposed to we're fucked. Um, which is, you know, sort of the, the, the other side of the, the coin. Um, I really believe increasingly, I think it's always been the case, but things were moving so much slower, and they're moving at such a pace with such rapid fragmentation that it's, it, it's looking for, you know, this is a little too quiet, and then following that up with, okay, what is our next experiment and how can we learn faster and focusing in and, and the joy of learning um, in, in those moments of high intensity, high pressure, high stress of like, I don't know. I don't know the answer. One thing that keeps me 
you know, warm and happy at night is that uh, humans are biologically wired for disruption and, and behavioral disruption especially. No other animal on the planet has seen these massive disruptive behaviors over such a short period of time. And what I'm, what I'm, what I mean when I say that is that you know you don't see other primates building stone tools, you don't see them discovering agriculture, you don't see them figuring out how to raise corn is like the biggest disruption of like human society. By the way, I don't know if you ever seen. There's no like corn and wheat in the wild. Like we had to figure it out over like succession, successive generations, trying a ton of experimentation. And now when you ask people who are experts in agriculture, well, how is it that like corn and wheat are you know the sort of staples around the world? They're like I don't know. There's no corn that you can go find that just sort of like magically mutates like somebody had to figure out like how to farm it and take a lot of risks and then have this like massive disruption which you know led to human society so the great thing is for entrepreneurs especially entrepreneurs working on the internet where you're really dealing with tinkering with social behavior and encouraging people to learn and try new things is that everybody in this room and the other like six billion people outside are all wired to do this um, and 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 really our our job is is you're not trying to force these human organisms to try something otherwise weird and new is just encouraging that latent behavior for trying and experimentation and encouraging new things. So it's the, the disruption is, is is really the, the that's what we're geared to do. You're just trying to push it closer to there, and that's true not only for your customers and for your users, but like within like your own team's employee base. I've never seen my company higher, uh, happier than uh, when suddenly we ripped out our old product and ripped out everything we've been doing and turned off a revenue stream and started on you know, three crazy new ideas. Um, I actually thought they were all gonna quit that day, but instead, you know, that's when everyone started working till one in the morning for weeks on end, like completely thrilled about it.